Let's take a look at product categories in BrightPearl. Categories can be used to organize your products. So here on the product list we can click show filter and then find all products in a certain category. You can see that the categories menu is hierarchical. In other words, it's got children or nesting. So what we can do here is just select technical clothing and filter the report to see all of our technical clothing products. Product categories are also great for filtering your sales reports. The ones found under the reports menu on the right hand side. Here for example we've got the sales analysis by product, which is our top sellers. What I can do here is I can actually just filter this by category and let's choose technical clothing to see the top sellers in that particular category. Note that I can only choose one category from this menu. So if you wanted to have a hierarchical level of reporting, you can actually put one product in more than one category. So an item might be in winter, women's and clothing. If you want a field where a product can only have one value, then use the product type. So a product can only be set to one of these particular product types. And there's a separate video that tells you all about product types. To create or edit categories, Go to Setup, and then on the left hand side, Products slash Inventory, and then click Categories. This shows your top level categories, and the ones that have children or subcategories have got a little arrow, and you can click that to expand them out. To add a new category, just click the category name, click Create Subcategory, and give it a name. To move a category, simply drag it to where you want it to be. And here we've made protective gear a subcategory of bikes. And all the products in that category will move with it. It's important to make sure that every category has a unique name, regardless of where it is in the hierarchy, because that lets you work with categories and categorization using import from Excel. You can assign products to categories in a number of ways. The simplest way is one product at a time from the product edit screen. If you want to choose multiple categories, you can hold Ctrl or Command down and click the ones you need. You can also set product categories from the product list, so you can do it in bulk. So let's select all of these products and then from this menu choose Move or Copy to Category. Choose your category and then select Move or Copy. Choosing the Copy option will add this particular category to that product, leaving the other categorization intact. Whereas choosing the Move to Category will actually replace all existing categories with the one you choose here. Another way to update product categories is by importing a spreadsheet. What I've done here is I've created a data map with simply two columns, SKU and Category. And here's the spreadsheet on the right hand side. We've actually got four separate lines for the same SKU with four separate categories. And what this is going to do is it's going to assign this SKU to each of those four categories. Note that there's no hierarchy in this particular spreadsheet and that illustrates the need for unique category names wherever they are in your category tree. When I import this spreadsheet, as long as I choose the Add to Category mode, each of these categories will be added to the product. If I choose Move to Category, all previous categorization will be deleted and it's only the last category that will be relevant. If the categories don't exist in BrightPearl, you can actually create them using this spreadsheet by ticking the box Create Missing Categories. These are all created at the root level so you'll need to move them into the right place in your category hierarchy once they've been imported. You can create data maps to update products like this at Setup, Data, Import Products. And there's a separate video that shows you how to do this, how to import a spreadsheet to update existing products. So what we've seen in this video is that product categories are a field used to organize products, available when filtering the product list and also available when filtering sales reports. You can set the category on the product edit screen for one product at a time, or you can do it in batch from the product list. You can also import product categories from an Excel file, but don't forget you need to create them with unique names. And that takes us to the end of the product categories video.